So that's how I know Craig. We used to host like um, hey. it was a coffee shop. We would host melee tournaments there. Oh, that that's cool. And it was closed. And sometimes we'd hire a DJ for it. Oh wow! You know, it was a real homey kind of like no rules. Everyone was bringing forties and stuff. You Sounds know? very vibey. Yeah. Yeah. That young twenty-year-old stuff that you do. Okay, I have seen Abe before, and I've seen Abe play Ganon. Let's go, Abe. Yeah. Oh, and then here comes <laughs> Unsure. Okay. This is that's the type of tag you get when someone asks like, "Hey, what's your tag?" and you say, "I'm unsure." And then they just call you that for the rest of life. Oh, yeah, like yeah. a joke, like a... <laughs> yeah. The, the T.O. takes you serious. <laughs> oh, unsure? Oh, you're yeah. unsure? Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> the first stock goes to unsure after, you know, what looked like a strong start from Abe. Yeah, so Abe really controlling um, the space in between the side platforms with aerials. It's like a bit of big focus. Do you feel like Ganon slept on? Are you no. No. <laughs> Here's what I think about Ganon. I think Ganon is able to steal the win sometimes, especially at not the highest level. Okay. Um, it's one of those characters that I think has a hard time doing things. But if you are at a level where you, you like let them do things, Ganon's real strong. And sometimes, like anytime you can just kill someone after hitting them a few times, yeah. um, like what's that thing? Ganon only saves you seven times for you to die. That's like an old melee idiom. Yeah. Uh, that that means there's going to be innate variance. Like sometimes you're just going to lose. Like you know, sometimes you're playing a Falcon as Falco, and like you just get need like three times, and, and you, some reason you lose. You don't have your jump. And you're yeah, exactly. Ganon's a lot like that. Not only sharing the move set, but also just in terms of like raw knockback. But oh, okay, up airs out. Nice, nice. Let's go, Abe. I'm cheering. I'm cheering. But like, I think it's like a. A game sense thing when it comes to like these like kind of like mid tier low tier. Yeah, like, definitely. If you have that game sense and you're just like, okay, these hitboxes go here to beat my, the other player. Like I don't mm -hmm. know. That, that is that is definitely the, the way to play Ganon. Yeah, and you have to be right a lot. That's the problem yeah, with Ganon. Yeah. But if you're right, like it's a thing. Most of the mid tiers that see a lot of representation. I feel like it's because they reward things that you're looking for in the game that the top tiers don't have as much. Like, what's the closest yeah. thing to a Ganon who's like, I'm going to, like, slide around a little bit, be immobile, have kind of a long lifespan, and mostly just put aerials where I think you're going to be. Is it, like, Puff or something? Like, that's... Maybe Falcon if you play him that way. I yeah, but know. Falcon's so fast, you don't really get yeah. the stationary wall sort of thing too often, right? I don't know, Peach? Like, it could be Peach, but Peach is also, like, a quirky character, so you have to like all that, like... I feel like Peach is under underdeveloped, under, underexplored. Under it kind of constantly has been. I think that's just oh. partially by virtue of the tech skill that you need to be yeah. being different. The double jump canceling. Yeah. Low the sub floats and all that. All right. Unsure was quite a strong game one. Um, it was a JV4, huh? Like was 0%. That. That's crazy. And the beginning wasn't look like that. The, the, the beginning of the game? Yeah, I think sometimes that'll happen um, when you're playing a mid tier two is you get hit a few times and then you see like, okay, I got hit here. Let me not get hit by that one thing. And you're kind of okay. <laughs> Um, in that case, there was like some big moves in the center of the stage. Unsure, like basically for the rest of the game, was just able to like dash back, wait for something, and have frame advantage. Um, so the risk reward was very much in his favor for basically the whole game after that. Yeah, like you were saying, like um, these like kind of mid tier characters, they need uh, that that correct guess to get their yes. like, bread and butter. Yeah, and. Uh, Abe got some stuff started in the middle of that game, but guessed wrong, and then, okay, it's back to the Fox's game plan. It's, yeah. Yeah, and you know what? Maybe, like, something that you have to do with to Abe is, um, I've seen some other Ganons, like, that have a similar style. They'll do those big fares and, like, those backward up airs and bears, and then sometimes they'll, like, wave land on the ground and be ready with a forward tilt in case someone tries to engage afterwards. So you do a little circle jump to, like, bait them in. Like a faint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not that it's easy because you have to like time it for right when you hit the ground, but it maybe you'd see some success. Then you can knock Fox down before you know it. it's two or three aerials and you have an edge bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that stomp is another type of um, fix there. Calling out something different, like a little bit of a retreating stomp, but same, the similar in spirit. Okay, a big fair. Payback fair. Oh, I like the little moonwalk. See that? <laughs> <laughs> Got a 
Ooh. We got a Jabberwocky in the house. Ooh. Is that what you call it? Well, I like it. Nice for it. You ever seen America Adventure? Yeah, I've seen Jabberwocky. Yeah, I know Jabberwocky, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. They, they, I'm sure they moonwalk at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just... <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the uh, the wizard's foot. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I was talking about the moon walk. Boom. Yeah, that makes sense. So, all right, let's see. One thing I will say is that Unsure is becoming used to not being in the middle of the stage. Like, Unsure will just dance around under the side platform until Abe throws out something unsafe. So maybe, like... And it's scary, but maybe you have to have, like overshoot as Abe, like jump fully forward to underneath the platform. But problem is, if you miss, like you're no longer in center stage, and the fox is hitting you, so that could be over. That's some WWE ass like flying punch over the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Hit somebody on the table. Um, Unsure is looking really safe in shield. It, I guess it's, it's really hard for Gambit to get a grab, so just shield is strong, you know? Yeah, you have to. That's the thing is, like, with a lot of characters, you can, like, say with Fox, there are many things you can do that will call out a couple of your opponent's options. Ganon, like, specifically has to not do anything else and grab, right? Because uh -huh. there's no, like, big plus move. There's no great situation. What are you going to do, jab after you land? Jab, grab? No. Yeah, you're not getting that. I mean, maybe it works, but... Uh, the risk reward I feel like isn't there for you, especially against Fox, who with you know a get off me, shine out a shield, um, can start to turn things around when you don't want it to. Oh, that was an interesting trade. Up smash. Like right there, like he could have wave landed and followed the. Uh, of course, it's always like the hindsight kind of thing, but. Yeah, I mean, a lot of Ganon's things require, like, prediction confirmation. So it's like, I think they're going to be here, and then once you confirm it, you throw out the move. But because Ganon's, like, slow all around, you have to be there ahead of time. Okay, missed a wave land that probably would have been a back air. Big hill to climb. Okay, that's a good start. We get the down throw into wizard foot confirm. Oh, oh, Man, Fox, burn. oh Fox is recoveries. Oh, it's man. nice. It's <laughs> that was a cool little trick. Wave landed off of the uh, stage and got a back air rising. Stop. He's living, though. Ooh. On Yoshi's at 150. <laughs> yeah, then waits extra long, fades back. That stomp is a nice idea. I like the idea oh, of the stomp. Oh. Oh. Didn't quite get on Randall. Nah. But Abe got a game in him. I'm calling it. Abe got a game in him. I agree. At least. I think the next one. Is it 1-1? One, one? I think it's 2-0 -oh in Unsure's favor. Yeah. Um, well, maybe start with a grab. I don't know. I kind of liked Yoshi's. I feel like yeah. the, the kill power that Abe had was so strong. But, you know, sometimes, like, you see something in what your opponent's doing, um, it, and you, you, you pick your stage to, like, help with that. I don't know what it could be. I'm not a Ganon player. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just rolling away. That hurts, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, see, that's that's like the obvious thing. Like, let's yeah, just yeah. wait for the box to roll. Yeah, I mean, that, and it's tough because as Ganon, again, you have to, like, kind of know what's going to happen. If you're a faster character like Falcon or Martha or something, you just stay on the ground and see what happens. But as Ganon, you got to guess. And this whole situation is turned around because of that roll. Yeah. Split yeah, a it. nice edge guard idea. Unsure does the shine to cover the immediate lead grab and then just jumps down and gets, gets the aerial. Okay, big hit. The edge guard conversion rate is going to be very important here. Can you keep unsure trapped on the ledge? Reverse. Uh, yeah, nice reverse jab. Uh, the Tipman just misses. Yeah, he's like, Abe is just like point foot five of a beat off. Yeah. From like just landing these things, these, these stairs, and. I mean, it's going to make a big difference. Yeah. That conversion rate is huge for him. That's what he has is his kill power. But we we could also turn around and be like, oh, get unsure is. 0.5 beats ahead of, of knowing what Abe wants to do. Yeah. Like that. That was... <laughs> the, the thing that's troubling me is sometimes that he's like a half a beat behind like during the punish. And that's like a place where like you should have full control of the rhythm. Okay. Another nice edge guard. Yeah. That's... I mean, that's a big part of the difference maker is Unsure has closed both edge guards, no questions asked. And yeah. Abe, I think, missed two. Still only half a stock behind though. The jab. The jab has been a good addition. In order to, okay. even though it doesn't do too much damage, it pushes him back, and it's been catching Unsure trying to, like, beat the lag of a move. Ooh, smart to know you can get the fair, right? I didn't know you could get that. I thought it was going to be an up air. 
That's that good. was cute to the, the reverse, the back of your Yeah, yeah that's a good hit, hitbox awareness. It waits for the landing. Ooh, that's tough. That's a lot of damage and a terrible situation. Slide okay, off nice. luckily reverses back across the stage. Okay, and the edge guard situation once again. This time he gets back. Makes it back. And Ape from the ledge has been quite good. Yeah. It's just off stage has been tough, which I mean, there's nothing you can do about that as Ganon, right? It's a tough situation. Ooh. Let's go. The down smash. The huge Let's party. Go. Yeah, it gets the command grab. We love to see. It doesn't lead to anything else. He gets the up air too, dropping all the way through the oh. platform. I don't know if those rolls were intentional, but if he was like in his movement, he's he's hitting that. He yeah, like if he just light. does a wave dash instead. Whoa. Because Ganon hits so hard, still in it. Okay, the ledge trapping. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't actually grab the ledge that last time. I've been there. <laughs> Especially on Battlefield with like a little point. Like it's a, yeah. Mm -hmm. You might hit your nose, <laughs> and, not, and now you're not. You're not grabbing it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yonshur sure waits for the roll there, get the punish. We have a last stock situation in game three. Last stock. I believe Abe's back is against the wall, uh, despite the graphic. Oh. <laughs> it's against the man in the, in the light. A lot of up airs. Okay, forward air reversal, already at 30%. Oh, that hits so hard. You know what's crazy is it actually doesn't hit that hard. That's as much damage as, like, Fox's Nair. <laughs> How much is Fox's Nair? Hold up. I think it does 12. But this is so scary. No, come on. Oh, no, not as much as his oh, back air. Oh. Oh. He had that one. He could have had that one. I felt it, right? Like. But, I mean, credit to Unsure, the conversion rate was, like, just really high.